Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to go to support.startrack.com. Once you're there, you're going to go over to where it says technical info. You look over here on the left side and scroll down where it says latest product software and click on that. From there, you want to just go ahead and scroll down and you'll see right in this area some information. Where we want to be is this FIST program. If we're going to click over here on the right side, and that's actually going to take us to the 4D Electronics website. Once we're on the 4D site, you'll see over here it says download, and we're going to click on that. We're going to download the software. Now, this is the FIST, so the FIST software to upload the uh, programmers. Once the upload is done, I'm going to go ahead and tell it to uh, run. You'll get the warning that says security and everything. Don't worry about it. Everything's safe. We use this program all the time. Uh, it's going to tell you that there's no previous installation detected. There's no USB drivers detected. And that's normal for your first install. Uh, if you've if you've uninstalled and you're reinstalling, you want to make sure you get this message. Now, before we go, you'll notice that the right here is where you're going to see the software version. Click next. This is where we want to install it. It's fine. It's up to you, really. Uh, it already exists because I used to have it on my computer. I've uninstalled it, so yeah, we're we're fine. I'm going to say yes. Let's go ahead and keep putting it there. I don't want a desktop icon. Uh, it's up to you if you want it. And let the install go. Now it's going to uh, ask us if we want to install these USB drivers. And absolutely, we do. Uh, most new uh, FISP uploaders are going to be a USB driven uploader. So you definitely want to make sure you do that. When you're doing this, depending on your system, it may take some time. Um, in this case it will. I'm just going to jump forward a little bit to save us some time on this video. You're going to get this little thing here that says it can't verify the publisher. Don't let that scare you. Everything's safe. Just go ahead and accept it. Once again, uh, this may take a little bit depending on your computer. Um, I'm going to jump forward here to save us a little bit of time. Alright, now we got installation complete and successful and then it's going to ask us if we want to launch it don't click that because uh, the next video is going to explain what you want to do and you don't necessarily need to launch it right in here you'll see what you need to do in the next video